Hello everyone, <coughs> hello everyone, and welcome back to the Gaming Droid, and welcome back to Sky Pirate Droid. So, as you can see, we are ready to start the process of making one, two, three, Six. Uh, great wood cores for our wands. This should be everything we need. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be making these great wood cores. I've got everything set up in my hotbar so I know what order to put things down in. I've got all of the essences set up, for the most part balanced as best I can. This is swaying a little bit more than I'd expect it to, but I see no lightning bolts. I can hear the odd crackle, but. That's a strangely high, uh, it's a strangely emotion-filled action, but it should be all right. Uh, I've balanced out the shards as best I can, even though there's an uneven number of them. I think actually I probably could have balanced those shards slightly better. Yes, could have, um, but it looks like it's going to be a nice and easy transformation. I've got enough of everything. Um, so I've got enough essences and everything to make three of these, which I want to do because I want two for my wand and one for my crafting scepter. Or two for my battle wand and one for my crafting scepter. So there's our first silverwood core. So what I'll do is I will go and I will finish off making these, which will be um, three more repetitions of this process. Like so. And I will see you all, or two more repetitions of this process, and I will see you all when we start crafting up the actual things. Hello everyone! So, we've finished our rods and now I'm getting ready to do this binding. Um, I've switched this over to the Ritual of Binding, I've got all of my elemental inscriptions on me, I've got Ritual Stone, Weak Activation Orb, and all the different bits and pieces. So if I pop that, it will build me my Ritual of binding, like so. Now what I need to do is, um, I'm actually going to use, I'm not going to use ritual stones in case it messes up the ritual, I'm going to use cobblestone to fill in, this shouldn't mess with the ritual, it'll just make it a bit easier for me to throw items onto the ritual, like so. So now what I want to do is I want to activate the ritual and throw in the relevant items. Uh, this ritual shouldn't cost too much to activate. I think it's about 5,000. Uh, could be 10,000. So I've got um, 1 million life points. So if I start with my Thormic Goggles of Revealing. sanguine helmet go I saw it jump out where'd you go where'd you go saw you pop out with the sanguine helmet I saw you so we know it works at least uh, although the item appears to have disappeared I did see that and I've all, all, always uh, sort of already already recharged my life point network using that um, little bonus of power. Right, let's try this again. See if it uh, happens again. So there's my sanguine. So that's gone up to 3% biz discount. And I'll just have to make some extra goggles of revealing to do this with. Hopefully those landed before the uh, light was struck. There we go, sanguine boots, 2%. And then thormium chest plate. Not only 
do I have root shielding going on, but I also have um, Ah, uh, they need to be fully repaired. Okay. I'll grab a couple of diamonds and a stick and I'll do the diamond sword one as well because I want a uh, sword of binding. I do have a crafting table down here. Getting a mobile crafting table from Britannia will probably be quite nice. There's a um, assembly ring in Britannia. So the thing with this, when I do this, it becomes a sword. Very powerful sword, gives me weak blood charge when I kill things, very dangerous. However, it constantly drains my life or my um, life ball while it's active, although not enough to keep up with uh, that. So what I'll do is I'll just pop over here and make myself a quick pair of Thaumaturge goggles. So, Thaumo. One. Two and then goggles. Fine. Sometimes it can get a little bit finickety because the uh, meters don't stack, and it sometimes gets a little bit awkward with things that don't stack. Oh, of course, that's why. It wants me to do it in this one with a wand. Switch into this style. Well, well, you can see here 2% discount, 3% discount, 2% discount, 3% discount, 1% discount, 2% discount. So that's already improved. So if I switch into those ones and go make me these, nope. Again, stuff doesn't stack. It can get a little bit finickety sometimes, but this is far easier than searching through 40 chests looking for specific things. So there we go, you can see that that's significantly reduced now. I don't have enough fire in that one. Do I have enough in this? There, I have enough in this. So you can see there's quite a reduction going on at the moment in sort of how much it costs. This should be costing me um, five of each, but it's down to 89%, which is a nice decrease. And when we get our crafting wand, it will be even more decreased. One thing I do have to remember to do is to switch those out. And then we can come up here and we can finish this binding ritual. And we'll, of course, because they're spawning on here. Go away. Oop, missed. <laughs> I missed. Oh dear. Come on, come on. Also going to do that. Yeah, finish it off. Because I'm going to be leaving this up here because there's going to be some other bindings I want to do later on down the line. So now I can pop that in there. And you can see that if I put this in, this is a 99% average V cost. If I flip these round, it becomes an 85%. And you can do that with a single click of a button, which makes this remarkably valuable. So let's put away all of our ritual items. And put our ones away as well. See my bag of assorted tools. <laughs> that has slowly been growing more and more full as I've been gathering more and more tools to use. I put that away. Put you away, I want to put you into here. So that is the sort of next stage of my Thormic collection. And also the next stage of Blood Magic. Have I completed any quests down either of those lines? No, I haven't. 
Silverwood saplings, I still need two of those. I lost both of my silverwood saplings. Um, unfortunately lost both of them because I didn't get any more from anything. What I need for this is I need ethereal blooms. And at the moment I don't have a recipe for ethereal blooms. I need to go and scan something made of taint. Which is actually something I can do for the next sort of little bit of this episode. Is I can actually go and see if I can get hold of some bits of tainted stuff. So what do we need? We need torches. Um, nooks. Let's take eight glowstone. Do I have a saw in there? I do. There we go. That's good. Pop the saw back away. I do need to occasionally charge this up, but ah, did the sword drop off the edge? Possibly. Oh well. So let's numb something up and let's head into the deep dark because the place you can find the uh, the speaking wish the place you can find um, taint at the moment in in this mod pack is down in the deep dark. Looks like you're going to sort this out. And then... Just make it easier to get down these stairs without banging my head. Although I have a jetpack on, which does not make that easier. Turn the jetpack on down here. So. Oop. Oop. So the kind of trick with the deep dark is that when you go into the darkness you take damage. Um, so what you want to do is you want to head straight down to the ground and start popping down light sources to protect yourself from that. Yes, I know there's a skeleton there. A skeleton can bite my butt, basically. So now I have to start thinking about how I'm going to track down paint. So probably, if I have a look at my map, I will just start heading in a direction. Ooh, there are nodes down here. I like this. Ooh, that's a big water node. Okay, noted. This is a place to find very large nodes. And there's another node over here. Another water node by the looks of it. Let me put down a light source. And then I will kill you all. There's a spawner scale, uh, spawner zombie there, spawning zombies. <laughs> Die. This bow is... Wow, 111 water. That's insane. If only I could find an air version of that. I would love an air version of that. This looks like it might contain some auto. Auto air. Ah, that's a... How much? 25 air. Not brilliant, but 25 air is still 25 air. This has suddenly, suddenly turned into a really effective Thorncraft episode. Yes, yes. Bonk. Go away. As I start hunting down some... Ooh. Anything interesting up here? You're just a column that supports the ceiling. You're just a column that supports the ceiling. Okay. Excuse me, Enderman. And I'll just have a look around down here. I didn't realise there were going to be Thorncraft nodes down here. I thought they would have removed those, but... Uh, obviously random generated uh, environment. So I will have a dig around and a look around to see if I can find some, th uh, not Thorncraft nodes, some taint. Oh hello. And all of these will be going on to another air. Okay so if you need air you go to the deep dark. Noted. Fire from the nether makes sense. Air from the deep dark. <laughs> I wonder if we can get something else from, um, what's it called? The dream dimension or the nightmare dimension. Or well, the last millennium, maybe. I wonder if the last millennium has lots and lots of Pedicio in it. 
Okay, so um, what I'll do is, between episodes, I will start hunting through this environment looking for... Um, some taint. I will see if I can get hold of some tainted bits and pieces to scan with my scanner which will unlock ethereal blooms and help me down the route of getting silverwood trees. Thank you all for watching. I'll probably also be down here gathering some nodes as well because I need air nodes. It's one of the things I'm really heavily missing is nodes containing air. So um, thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.